Okay, I'm just gonna go through how I do my OAV on uh, poly hives. So, I'm gonna start with uh, this colony here. You'll notice that the thing with most polys, they come with screen bottom boards. Uh, they are styrofoam, so you can ac you can actually put the uh, the rod, the heated uh, cup there on the bottom board. So typically, I had a piece of plywood underneath. I uh, stick the uh, the wand underneath of the colony and then use t-shirts or towels to pretty much seal up the edges and the front entrance. <clears throat> so what I constructed here is uh, just a simple, I had some spare plywood with some ripped uh, 1x4. And so I'll show you how I use that. Slide it underneath the, the colony. Uh, this is the back of the colony, the front. And what it does is it creates a nice uh, sort of enclosure and then along the edges here is where I put my my cloth t-shirts old t-shirts uh, to seal the colony uh, it's on wood and basically you do it through the screen bottom board and that way you don't need to worry about uh, burning anything and uh, yeah it just makes it easier and uh, I've been doing it that way for the last uh, few years so what I'm going to be doing now is I'll probably put, uh, that's a double, so I'll probably put uh, three grams of uh, oxalic acid in the wand there. Uh, and you'll notice that my wand is connected to a really long spool of cable there. So technically I could drive my truck as close as possible to the yard and use the alligator clips to connect it to my uh, car battery or in this case i'll just use the solar uh, fence uh, 12 volt battery and which is just over the fence there so that way i can uh, control the wand from a distance i do have my half mass there with uh, chem organic acid uh, cartridges uh, depending on the wind direction i may or may not use it but the wind's blowing towards me right now so i'll uh, I'll probably wear it just to be safe. Uh, and over here, I've got a washed uh, insert. And I'm going to stick that underneath after the treatment. And then tomorrow evening, I'll come back. And then we'll do a, a mite count. And typically, if it's just a handful of mites after an OEV, I'm not too worried about. Uh, but if it's over, I'd say, 15 mites, uh, I... That's usually my May count, my spring count. Uh, if it's only 15 at this time of year, then it's it's actually not too bad. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, and I'll uh, I'll come back tomorrow and film the uh, the results. Uh, so I'm going to do that to all my colonies, and then for this one here, I'm just going to jury rig. Uh, I'll put that tray underneath. Uh, there are some vents down there. Uh, I'll probably have to shim it up and so that uh, basically I'll tilt it forward so I can slide the wand without burning the styrofoam and I'll give it a, a blast of uh, probably two grams of OEV uh, just to run them through a treatment and uh, I won't do a count on that one because I didn't bring any cardboard to stick underneath and there's no uh, no easy way to put a sticky board on that thing, so it is what it is. Okay, here's a loaded one. And, uh... as you can see it's sealed all around just got to seal the top entrance there. 
uh, I'm uh, constrained on time, so there's still some bees out. Uh, usually I do this uh, on a cooler evening, but uh, for some reason we're in a heat wave and it'll be warm for a while and because we're in the north, it's still sunny fairly long. Uh, but I should be able to cover most of the bees, so I'm going to do my best to cover that entrance. As just you can see how the wand there is connected. I'll just make sure it's on. Uh, there's a little on off switch. And I'm gonna go connect the battery, it's on. Uh, so technically I can control it from here. Uh, like I said, the wind's blowing my way, so I'm actually downwind. So I'll be controlling uh, the unit upwind, which is good. So I won't be uh, in the uh, vicinity of uh, of the fumes so that's uh, one good thing about that uh, my uh, setup okay I keep my battery in the cooler and you really don't have to do anything other than uh, just connect I'll connect the negative first so black and then I'll just do this one and I'll start my count. So now it's activated and I will go from there. And I've just put that t-shirt out front. Uh, bees are confused. There's still a lot of foragers out, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, so this is, uh, let's see, my nice yard. Uh, this blue colony here. So it's 24 hours since my oxalic acid vapor uh, a treatment so I just pulled the tray from underneath uh, and I just counted the mites so you can see as you scroll through uh, there's actually quite a few thing to remember this is post treatment okay so it's actually treatment it's not natural drop it's not a uh, alcohol wash so it's actual treatment results okay which is different so what i'll do is i'll put this in a calculator and just to give me an approximation of of what the mite load is so there's about i'd say 75 to 100 mites uh, and we'll put that in the calculator and we'll see what uh, number comes out uh, this is a very big colony full of bees uh, so what we need to do is uh, guess. 40,000 bees or 500 mites. I imagine, so there's five times this uh, underneath capping. So 500 to 1,000 mites divided by uh, 40,000 bees. Uh, gives you one to 2%, 2.5%. Uh, A little bit high. Uh, but this is a, a fall number, so they're on the decline now. So, uh, when I check the other colonies, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do another OAV treatment on this uh, colony. Uh, when I come back from uh, a, a trip that I'm doing, so I'll run another OAV on it uh, and just give it a uh, another blast. So hopefully that's enough to, to bring the number down uh, versus putting uh, the formic acid on it. If this was more than 100, uh, then I'd be in a big bind. So I'm guessing my infestation levels in the 1 to 2% level. Uh, not ideal, but uh, not, uh, not the worst. 